Hello Sagittarius, welcome. Thank you for being here. We're doing your weekly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. We're going to look at the 15th through the 21st and see what's your situation, what's helping or hindering the situation, why this is happening, the past, what do you think is going to happen, your immediate future. We're going to look at your headspace here. What is influencing you? External situations, hopes and fears, and the best possible outcome. And one card is an overall message for the reading here. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. One more. 15th through the 21st. What's going on? Celtic cross bread. All right. There's the Saturn in Sagittarius. Scorpio had this. You're done, you have, you're tired, you're exhausted, you feel like now is the time or to start with something new. You have hope. You have hope that whatever has been that you have worked so hard, not only is going to pay off, but finally you can see some type of clarity there. So what is your situation? The Eight of Wands, Mercury, uh, by the way, in Sagittarius. You feel like certain situations now have to move quicker. Things have to happen fast so something happening fast visions here you know you feel like there's this optimism uh mercury in sagittarius in this case also is very blunt but i feel like this is something that you feel like the door is open clarity of mind here messages news communication it's just there's all these possibilities so what is sabotaging this the four of cups for some of you it might be a message regarding a person that you're waiting to receive some type of communication for, uh, from the four of cups is still contemplating it's like um we have this strong emotional situation water and fire but it's like in a way it, it's not going well with this four of cups because someone is still thinking of another situation or is this really the timing should i go for it Let's see, let's see, because I'm going to clarify all of this. The Seven of Pentacles. There's the impatient energy and there's the patience energy. So at the root of this, you feel like also that the challenge is, can you still continue on the same pathway? Can you wait? Or for a person or something here that you feel like it's you want it to happen now. This is mostly like also, are there going to be rewards? Is this going to be worth it? daily here kind of work towards the situation to see the rewards okay so definitely for some of you it's regarding silence and not talking to someone so now you feel like a wake-up call for some of you you have had time to rest to think uh, recovery here again i feel like this is something that you want to proceed but you're not even sure again maybe you're not sure as i mentioned because you want it to be worth it and you know you want to there to be tangible things financially physically here relationship wise that's the kind of you know cautious approach here okay so it is about a connection the best situation not only to for you to be in sync with um what you want to go after but also you feel like is this the one that got away is it finally someone that you have been waiting for coming towards you love union Okay, the Queen of Cups is the immediate situation. Remember, this might be you, this might be your person. But I feel like someone might take that offer. Love is coming in. Someone is very open here, receptive, nurturing, kind. We'll see how the Queen of Cups clarifies. The Justice. I feel like for some of you, you feel like finally, you know, you, you're getting here what you have been waiting, the justice you deserve. It may be that you have been trying to stay balanced here because remember we have all of this unless some of you got out of a relationship recovery here now you feel like is love coming in am i ready to open up am i ready to go towards it again for something that you have been maintaining a kind of yourself here working and not acting quickly i feel like now you you want things to happen but also with the justice card you're kind of trying to balance and stay neutral all right, so what is external to you? The two of swords. Someone external to you or how do they see you is at crossroads and undecisive. Moon in Libra, by the way, and here we have Libra. 
that's external there's still some type of i don't know what to do i don't know which way to go the four of pentacles in the hopes and fears now a lot of fours for you guys four 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 that four of pentacles if it is a hope if you feel like you have the means and the foundation and the power financially here whatever you need to maintain remember the seven of pentacles being here is very worried whatever is this movement how much longer as i mentioned and will i be able here to have reserve so the four of pentacles i feel like for some of you you're hoping to have this for others fearful that someone is not ready to, to kind of get out of their comfort zone wants to maintain the status quo wow the moon the queen of cups and the moon as the outcome you want this clarity here but there's still it's going to be first of all uh, an emotional situation some of you also dealing with cancer but this the moon here it seems like there's something that you have to go from your gut feeling um, from your inner self and I'm looking at the justice that you're trying to stay neutral but with the moon you cannot it's still something elusive I want to clarify I'm getting strong uh, cancer Pisces Scorpio it doesn't have to because we're looking at the week I feel like there's still some type of uh, mysteries here very emotional week but uh, someone is still not entirely out ready here um, to take actions let's see I want to see uh, I want to clarify it may be that there's some truth that are coming out what is the eight of wands oh my goodness this king of pentacles came for uh, Scorpio too it's like a person that is used to be patient and holding back because the page of pentacles, I feel like there are messages here. But someone is not completely revealing if this is going to be a, a, a love connection, though it is. Again, that moon is still leaving things in the uncertain, um, in the, um, in an uncertain way or the enigma here or the uh, the mystery. But I am getting as well. that this king of pentacles is now tired of being patient what is this the nine of swords someone that has been worried anxious you, you have been overthinking about a, a situation so much and you're anticipating movement by the same time you're worried Let's see here why the Four of Cups. Okay, I keep getting that someone is not sure here if the other person is going to commit, is available, is well off. Remember about something here with the Seven of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. A lot about financial freedom, independence. I keep getting one energy of someone being... Um, I've gotten out of a situation it has been waiting recovery and I'm this king of pentacles I feel like can be a provider and can be well off but I don't know it's just to me it's the question do I want this or not is it can it just be concentrated on the material side the physical side I, I feel like with the moon it's telling me there's more mostly emotional here By the way, we have Moon in Cancer, Venus in Virgo. So look at it. It's like someone is looking at this Nine of Pentacles that has it all. So it feels like, what can I give more? Remember the Queen of Cups, love. What can I offer this person? Do they have feelings? It's really a question here, especially if the King of Pentacles is questioning if there is feelings here or worry. If someone here sends that message or acts quickly. And if someone even, you know, is ready to open up. What is the Seven of Pentacles? Okay. 
Yep. There's a, an important choice, and this important choice needs a lot of uh, careful approach because, again, someone feels like, what if I'm going to lose whatever I have if I make this, you know, decision here? You have been working. I, this is not just something you, you have been working for some time and you have been trying here to, to at least keep the safety net or what is important for you as you move forward. But there is a, a regret and loss as well here and fear. What are, I, I feel like I'm confusing you guys. What I'm getting here overall is that I feel like especially that King of Pentacles is ready to take it to the next step but it feels like what is the person the the other person here it may be the queen of cups just reverse the roles what is the other person going to think of this offer are they ready to commit again someone is like looking what what will i be here financially or physically gain What is the Four of Swords? I feel like there's an offer. You've always wanted something tangible, an offer here, business or serious, but it's um, it's been left in the emotional realm here. What is the Four of Swords? Someone has been waiting for the happier time to open. Yep, there's been a lot of telepathic connection, waiting for something to re be revealed. Again, with the sun, the moon there is still, still secretive, it's still mysterious. Someone has been waiting for something to come to light. What is the Queen of Cups? Someone has not also been very out and sociable here, has been taking time off. So what is the Queen of Cups? My goodness, you keep getting the Ten of Cups. I feel like Virgo got this as well. Scorpio. This, this is the ideal love. This is that kind of love that you dream about or connection and bliss. That's what's coming in. So why do you have the justice? Oh my goodness, why is this getting so complicated? It's like the justice, it means or that there's another person here that you feel like you have to balance or you're trying here to stay objective because you don't want your passions to rule uh, the situation. You have feelings too and you feel very passionate, especially that King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. I feel like it's between someone staying steady, practical, thinking of the money, the establishment and also thinking when it comes to this love. So that's what I feel like. For some of you feel like feeling like maybe now is the time, the right timing for us to be together. What is the two of swords, please? So you finally got the three of wands. So external to you, someone is still waiting. They're not making a decision. Maybe that's why the moon is there, because this is Moon in Libra, still waiting for that passion. There's always been this connection and this potential that someone finally is waiting to, uh, for a person to send that message or to come in or things to move forward so just know your person or external to you they're waiting i feel like they're waiting on you what is the the four of pentacles the yep the justice and the death card so it feels like there's that hope but at the same time we're dealing with extreme here for something uh, in the end completely to end a relationship for some of you as you hoping to go to something else or you feel like whatever are these extremes or ending that they're going to balance a situation and you're going to still be well off especially if you're dealing with karmic contracts you feel like you're going to maintain at least what's yours you're hoping also, someone here is uh, supportive, is safe, is stable, is committed. It's very important, I feel like, again, um, since you are trying here to look at a situation in a fair, balanced way, diplomatic way, you're hoping that uh, it's not going to go to some something of an extreme here. Fear. 
what is uh, did i do the two of cups i didn't feel like i did the two of cups let me see what is the two of cups okay this one for some of you from friendship to love finally you know whatever you wanted here that you've been planning all along for you and this person to come together what is the two of cups wow we had the king of wands and queen of wands is between you and someone else but for for some of you because you have the four of pentacles here as you're hoping that someone is stable there's the fear of abandonment financial difficulties between the two of you or someone is not going to be able to come together so that's why you're hoping there's an emotional bond especially if money is involved material here physical situation you're really hoping that there's an emotional bond and it's not just driven by the physical um or by money here or if it has been a friendship to to be more than friends kind of connection what is the moon please okay so the ace of swords the moon tells me that there's a situation here that needs to come to light some truth and you have to trust your gut feeling Yeah, it, it seems like about a, a person. I'm getting a lot of people here. Yes, yeah, Sagittarius. Remember, we had the King of Pentacles. So it feels like a truth. Or regarding someone's status, relationship. Or you need to be clear here. What do you want from this person? Someone needs to be clear. The emotional part is what you're thinking. Again, what's coming in? The Queen of Cups is all about love. This queen is all about feelings, but he's saying someone here has to also talk about when it comes to the material, commitment, uh, financial here. I don't know if it's another person that is being revealed. What is this? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's <laughs> Virgo. Virgo had some of this. Some of you may be dealing with Virgos too. Um, I feel like there's some type of information here that are going to come out in the open or for some of you it's like you know the truth you know here what you need to say but you are you covering for someone or you right now are careful this to me is like the discovery here the eruption as well of some type of news what if someone been holding back also, be careful of misunderstanding that with the moon, we are dealing mostly with emotions and feelings, but also elusiveness and mysteries. The Ace of Swords is bringing clarity to a fogginess or to someone here that is not what they say they were. It may be again that you're going to, to discover a situation about another person here. I truly hope this resonates with you. Thank you. Bye-bye.